Battle Voice. Good news. Nervosa just released a uh, a new single today. And with us, one of the newest members, Elena Cortina. She's uh, joining us. Um, very exciting news. I guess a new lineup, new music, new single. Um, I guess let's start things off with um, how did you get involved? <laughs> First of all, it's uh, a long story, I'm sure, but go it's ahead. A long story. Yeah. First of all, thank you for uh, having me here. It's a huge pleasure for me. So, yeah, everything began like uh, it's almost two years now mm -hmm. uh that we go back uh i had the first uh, call from uh prika uh and she tell me that uh look i i had in my mind always to put like a second guitarist in the mm -hmm. band but i never found what exactly was matching you know with me with the taste with uh, the way that uh, i want things to work and uh, she said, like, oh, I'm feeling that we will going to have, you know, a good connection with uh, each other. And, uh, of course, she explained me that uh, they just had released uh, the album, Perpetual Chaos. Mm -hmm. And that we had to, you know, wait uh, a bit since I become an official member. But in this uh, period, in uh, between, we were start exchanging ideas we started working together you know building the songs composing the songs and everything so, so yeah so, it's so like, did you is it all complete now is it the whole album complete and is just you're waiting for it yeah now it's the whole album uh complete now just we just had the first single released as a video clip e endless ambition yeah yes mm -hmm. and Okay, so it's on Napalm Records, I would assume, right? Yeah, right. It's on Napalm because we got the the press release from Napalm Records. Mm -hmm. And when is the like? When, what's the timeline on the album? Like, when when is that going to be released? The album is going to re be released like uh, later after summer by September or uh, October. We oh, okay. Assume. Yeah. So this this single was released so you guys could start the tour and get some excitement. Is mm -hmm. that it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a new lineup, a new song. We are beginning touring uh, by next week, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, we like to, you know, drop something uh, as a sample of, you know, what is coming. This, this, this is your first real band, right? Like the big, big band, correct? Yeah, correct. You've been you've been building up to this, right? You've been sort of building yeah, up slowly yeah. to this, like everybody, I, like everybody does. Right? Everybody, yeah. I was uh, had a band uh, here in the town that I'm living uh, called Daffodil. Uh, we had released, you know, some uh, content, some EPs. Then I had my solo project that I released my EP like last year, mm -hmm. and this the next level <laughs> yeah no that's the way it goes right so so what's it like you're on stage with them now is it like wow this is what i always wanted to do you know <laughs> no, it will be like uh in the tour that is coming now it will be my first time on stage with nervosa as a guitarist because you're a bassist last time right yeah, yeah, yeah in the previous tour i was the basis of course the you know, the experience of touring, the experience of, uh, you know, playing every day in front of a big audience. And in Latin America, the audience was like super warm and crazy. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, yeah. Enjoyed, you know, everything. And I said, okay, but now it's time to, you know, do the same, but with guitar. So who are your influences? Like you're growing up in uh, Greece, right? So who are your influences? Mm-hmm. As a guitarist, you, you could say influences, and then you could say maybe women influences. Like, you know, there's influences in men and women, and then maybe there's like more specific women ones. Okay. Uh, like You're maybe... not going to say Nana Muscori here, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, main influences, I could say, I'm um, like pretty classic with this stuff. I'll go with uh, the Scorpions, which I'm. Oh, yeah. Huge fan. Are Uli like, John Roth or after Uli John Roth? Please don't make me choose. It's just all of or them. Or Michael Schenker. Or Michael Schenker. 
Matthias, Matthias, Michael Schenker, or Uli John Roth? You have to choose. I cannot choose just one. It's to. like the Scorpions <laughs> in general. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's impossible for me to choose. Uh, yeah, then I would go for a guitarist like uh, Richie Blackmore, mm -hmm. uh, Gary Moore, Tony Yomi, Brandy Rhodes, Zach Wild. You know, it's like big classic names. Are you slowly getting to meet your heroes? Well, the ones that you can, like, I guess as you, the more popular you get with the band too, right? The more you're going to start meeting all these people. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. And uh, I... What about I, females? What about females? Okay, so you talked about men more or less because they were sort of the, 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 the beginnings, right? But what mm -hmm. about the women? There's mm -hmm. more and more today, right? Which oh, makes yeah. Them, so there like, are more... Cool, like, even in as guitarists or as uh, musicians, you know, in uh, in general, and uh, I think like uh, the first like female guitarist that I was uh, you know watching and uh, kind of analyzing was uh, Orianti. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, she's from Australia, but Greek, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and uh, of course after that it's uh, Nita Strauss that it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yes. Yeah. yeah, she's amazing. Is there mm -hmm. anybody other else? And what about like just women in general, like Doro or you know, just just women oh, yeah. who yeah, you yeah. looked up to, who you look up to, right? Yeah. Doro could be like, of course, in the very top of them. What does your mother say? My mother has no yeah, idea. She's going, <laughs> you're going. You're going. You know, mom. I want to become a guitarist. I want to go on stage with uh, you know all these bands. Apliti. Does she say apliti? They used to say my day, apliti. Why are you dealing with these people? You know, you know, my mother was like, a, okay, do it. You know, she was like totally open. My father was like a little bit more uh, like freaking out and be anxious about everything. But no, they are both like uh, always like supporting in there. And now they're proud. They go to the shows and go, that's my daughter. That's my daughter. Right there, right? <laughs> that's my daughter. I always supported her. That's my daughter right there. Yeah, my dad now knows about everything, about thrash metal and death metal, and it's kind of funny, but okay. All right, so, okay, so how does a, how does a female fit in the death metal world today? It's like in every other uh, genre of music. It's uh, yeah. how it started in, uh, in blues, how it started in rock, how it started in heavy metal. Now it's going on to death metal uh, scene. You yeah. know, in the beginning, of course, we are few uh some things can be more difficult or no it depends but uh it's you know it's always uh in the beginning it's always in the is the genre more accepting today is death metal more accepting of women today and thrash yeah yeah i believe that uh in general women today belong to every genre of uh, music and i believe like uh like things have changed mm -hmm. i want to believe that like uh, since the past things are like uh, a bit easier a bit more uh, smooth and not having all this kind of uh, you know a bit racist uh, stuff i believe that everyone uh, no matter the music uh, kind and the music taste started to be more uh, open. Okay. And what about what, what about oh, sorry. Music. what? Sorry, sorry. Finish what you wanted to say. Oh, yeah. I, I believe that um, uh, they start to be more uh, focused on uh, the music, what the bands are, uh, you know, creating and uh, what they're providing rather than if it's like male or female. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I agree. Things have definitely changed for the better. Um, mm -hmm. What What about being an artist in Greece, trying to break out of Greece? Because you go back 30 years, it was really difficult to to make it as a, an artist. Maybe Gus G, there's exceptions, a few, right? Yeah. Body Christ, Gus G. Mm -hmm. What about trying to make it, you know, from there? It, this, it, is it is difficult, easier, or? Yeah, I cannot say that it's easy you know yeah. of course there are difficulties like uh in everywhere uh of course but uh yeah you know living in greece it's 
I know that there are a lot of artists, like uh, as you mentioned, Gus G or uh, Rotting Christ or big bands like Septi Flares. They are coming out and they came out like uh, 25 years ago, which yeah. is like a miracle. But uh, yeah, things are always a little bit more uh, more difficult. You know, you're not in the center of the of the music industry. You are a little bit more apart. Mm-hmm. There's always a way. Even if <laughs> that's, right, that's right, that's right. All right. So, so recently we were with Paul Diano with Gus on stage. How? What? what tell me about that experience. Yeah, this this was like a one dream coming true uh, for mm-hmm. me actually, and uh, yeah, it it took me some time to realize uh, what happened. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, we had like three shows, but uh, I definitely enjoyed them and I definitely came in as a as an artist you know in one level and after that I came out in another level you know mm. I felt uh, all the process the rehearsals uh, everything the stage experience experience everything was like a they took me they dragged me you know a bit uh, higher and they helped me to improve uh, myself. Now you've made it professional. That's it. Now you're at the professional level. Like you go no, over right. here, and now you're in professional. The, uh, I, I'm feeling like a, I did a step, you know, in my for my personal uh, experience and personal uh, evolution. Okay, good. That's good. What do you say? How do you speak English so well? How'd you learn? I speak good. I have, I, I'm not the Simpsons. talking uh, like speaking good English. I still have this uh, Greek English pronunciation. <laughs> It's okay. What are you gonna do? But how'd you learn? Just like that? You just picked it up? No, I can say that I was pretty bad student in uh, English. Oh, uh, but by the time I started to, you know, listen more to bands like, uh, as I told you, like Scorpions and everything, and I was trying to find uh, videos and interviews through YouTube, uh, I realized that I wasn't able to understand what these people are saying in the interviews. And then I was pissed off with myself and I said, no, I have to, you know, uh, learn uh, to be a better student, you know, to be able to learn what these people are talking about. So again, (laughs) no, no TV shows, like TV shows too, right? When you watch TV shows, you learn from there, you learn from music, you know, there's, there's a whole. No, I I cannot say because I wasn't so much into TV shows. I mean, we have uh, one TV show that is from, uh, uh, it's called TV World from the Greek Metal Hammer here, but I wasn't so much into this stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. There, uh, when I had access into, you know, internet and YouTube and started to search about uh, interviews and everything, then it's how it uh, started. Do you know what my first language was? My first language was Greek. <laughs> that was that was my first language. That was. I I didn't speak any other language. I just spoke Greek. But well, what happened that... is, but what I went, yeah, yeah. But when I went to school, then it switched all to English and French. So, and then I kind of the Greek started disappearing, right? And and so that I'm like the opposite of you. Yeah. <laughs> Had a tough beginning because Greek are like a little bit uh, tough and difficult to to learn. But when your parents speak it, it's easier to to yeah. understand it, right? But to to learn it after is even harder, you know, if you've yeah. never spoken it before. Yeah, okay. exactly. Um, so you enjoyed the Diano thing there. It brought you more professional. What did you like about Paul? About Paul, I like that. Uh, you know, on the one side, I was. I had in my mind, like, uh, you know, Paul Diano is like uh, the first singer of Iron Maiden, you know, one of the <laughs> most legendary bands. And uh, on the other hand, I we were chatting with uh, Paul Diano, like, we've been friends, you know, for, for years. He was totally, like, humble and down to earth and very easygoing uh, person. He's funny. And- he's funny. Like, I've known Paul a long time, and he's a very funny guy. Exactly. You know, yeah. has nothing to do with, uh, the, like, uh, the rockstar attitude or something he's totally like like us chatting now it's totally yeah, simple guy. down to earth we say down to earth yeah he's down to earth down to earth mm-hmm. all right mm-hmm. so going back to the record now all right so 
it's going to be released. You said sometime September, October, right? Yeah, around there, yeah. around there, right? Yeah. Did you write? Did you co-write all the songs, or just a few songs on the album? Uh, most of the songs we have uh, composed together with uh, Prika. Yeah. And, uh, a lot of them were like uh, prepared in the in-between period, like after the release of uh, Perpetual Chaos, the previous yeah. album, till mm -hmm. the till the studio time. Like we had a lot of content uh, almost ready. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, most of the songs, it's like a uh, co-written. And did you know right there, like, okay, now we should, everybody knows that she's going to be the singer, right, of the band. Mm -hmm. She's going to play guitar and be the singer, singer, right? Mm -hmm. Did you know a year ago, two years ago, she was going to be the singer? Or because there, like, was that slowly you learned about that, if you understand my question? It was like uh, nobody knew. Even, you know, Prika didn't knew that she was going to, take on the uh, vocals uh, because everything uh, started with uh, the previous uh, lineup. But, uh, you know, after the, all these changes happened, Prika said that, okay, I am going to do it. You know, I want yes, to have... Yes. Why not? Because I don't want to, you know, uh, bring another vocalist that may fit or may not or whatever. She said like, okay, I will do it. I don't know if it, you know, She's like a, a guitarist and she wants to be a guitarist and have all the freedom on stage, you know. But uh, she said, okay, I'll take the decision and I will do it. Okay. And, and, and how would you describe the music on the new album? If somebody asked you, if somebody asked you, okay, what does a new album sound like? What would you say? Uh... Don't say death thrash. That's too easy. <laughs> no, I'm... <laughs> The new album has a combo like uh, has a, a lot of melodies. Mm -hmm. I have to say, uh, has a, a lot of like classic heavy metal riffs. Mm -hmm. You consider about the guitar stuff. Also, it's brutal. You know, has a has a combo like a, a bit more heavy metal, but still thrash and death and melodic. You know. I cannot that's say good. more. <laughs> no, that's good. No, that's good. That's a good start. Is there? Is it all death metal vocals, or is it just a more aggressive death metal and maybe clean? I don't know. What? what do you, are you experimenting with clean vocals too? Because that's how you get bigger, right? Oh, it's more like a, you know, it's brutal vocals and precise, uh, you know, experimenting and putting some stuff here and there, like a, you know. A little bit, uh, you know, distorted uh, vocals. She has a great combination in there. All right. Okay. I'll let you go off the hook there. I won't tell you, ask you anymore about the album. <laughs> All right. So, so also tell me about Hell. Hell, uh, Hell Papire is going to be on. Is she a full time member or is she just on and off? Uh, she's like a on and off. Uh, mm -hmm. Me, I still in the band, but mm -hmm. uh, some situation uh, that she has, she cannot, you know, go out on tour and uh, be, she cannot be in the band like constantly and uh, for whatever the band needs. So for the times that uh, Mia cannot be there, uh, Hellfire will be in her uh, position. Is she going to record? Did she record on the album? Did Hellfire record on the album? That's another question, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Part she's uh, of course she's uh, in the in the video clip, and uh, she's gonna be at the shows of course, and uh, yeah, Mia and uh, Helpai are gonna change like uh, in live shows. But I mean, you know what I mean? Like, who's on the album? How about that? Who 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 played bass on the album? Is it you that played the bass on the album? Uh this we will keep it a, a little bit more. <laughs> Too many you know, secrets. We have, uh, yeah, there are a lot of stuff, but we have one by one, you know, uh, revealing. So today was a big reveal. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Yeah. So uh, I, I would guess either it's you, it's her, or it's Mia. Okay. So I, there's three possibilities. So. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to tell me? 
about uh, you know the 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 shows or what you're doing and is there any about nervosa do you want to tell me anything else promote, uh, you want to promote anything else uh, on the process of uh, you know getting ready uh, the tour the scandinavian the northern tour starts uh, almost in a week actually okay yeah the- on uh, April 5. Uh, after that, we have uh, also the festivals that are beginning. And after that, we have a small UK tour that was mm-hmm. uh, just like a, a couple of days ago. And uh, I really cannot wait about the, the summer. The festival is going to be like, yeah, crazy. This is your dream come true, right? This is the beginning of your dream. Yeah, yeah. And that's it. I think that's about it. So everybody watch out for the new album. The new single is dropped. Pick it up. Uh, Napalm Records, I guess, Endless Ambition. I keep forgetting the title. Endless Ambition is the new single. You could pick it up. What? You could stream it. You could download it, I guess. You can listen to it on YouTube. Or you can watch the video. You can. Uh... Is there going to be a vinyl release for the album? Yeah, you know? of course. Yeah. There's all okay. like... CD or is that a phone. secret? Is that a secret? Or is there a about... <laughs> <laughs> <Not. laughs> right. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Unless you have something else you want to say? No. This for now. Okay. Yes. All right. We'll talk again. We'll talk again. All right. <laughs> Thank you for being guest. Elena Cortina. Efgaristo. Uh, <laughs> Nervosa. Uh, pick them up. Go watch your shows. And that's it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>